Hey guys, it's Patch. Uh, this is a review of the Lockfect 2 2 litre water bag. Um, essentially what this bag is, is a dirty water bag for collecting and storing uh, dirty water ready to be filtered. Um, I've had this for about two years and taken it on pretty much every trip I've been on, like hiking, backpacking wise, and it's held up pretty well, so I thought I'd uh, let you know what I think of it. Um, so I got this bag for £24 from Ultralight Outdoor Gear, uh, so I don't know what that is, dollars, a few more dollars. Um, it weighs 76 grams or 2.7 ounces, um, and essentially, super simple how it works. Uh, to collect water, you take this slidey end off, which used to be on a lanyard before I removed it. Uh, and you've got a nice big opening at the end there. And then you scoop up the water from the river or lake or whatever um, you're collecting water from. Put the end back on. And then you've got a bag full of water. What you can then do is uh, the outlet on this end uh, is perfectly sized for any of the Sawyer, my, uh, Sawyer filters. This is the micro, um, but the mini and the squeeze also work with this. Uh, and then essentially what you do is you squeeze the water out and, and into your clean bottle, whatever that may be. Um, so yeah, that's essentially how it works. Key thing to remember, uh, if you're looking at buying one of these, is to get the right size one. So there's two different sizes, I believe, of these outlets. There's 28 mil and there's 42 mil. Uh, 28 mil is for the soy products, and the 42 mil is for the Castine B3 water filter, which I don't have. So I've got the 28. Uh, I was a bit worried when I got this originally because I thought it wouldn't last that long. I thought if it was squeezed too hard or um, like something sharp poked in my bag or whatever, it just it would just break. But it hasn't. It's held up really well. And um, I thought these sides along the seam here would just like split and water would go everywhere but no it's been really good really impressed with it um so i'll go for the pros of it then the cons then weigh up if i think it's worth it worth the money worth the weight etc etc so pros of this um expand your water carriage so personally i carry two of these bottles which are 850 mil um and then along with this a uh, two litre bag that's nearly four litres of water um so I have the ability essentially to carry uh, up to four litres of water if I need to, which I rarely have done, but uh, it's there. Um, as I've alluded to already, it's uh, easier to use than the default bags you get with uh, soil products. So uh, I don't know if you're aware if you have one of these, but the normal bags you get, uh, the opening for actually collecting the water is uh, the 28 mil opening. And they're like a blister pack bags and it's just really difficult to actually fill them up um, from a river or a lake or whatever because of the, the inlet is so small. Uh, because these are so big on this end it's just dead easy, it's so much easier to use um, than the default bag so that's a big plus for most people with this product. Uh, it also provides you with a redundancy so say you only use like one big smart water bottle um, and then had this as well. If you lost this or it got punctured or started leaking or whatever um, or you, yeah, you lost it, whatever, then you've got a way of carrying water. You can just, like I showed you, put the uh, filter straight onto here and drink it straight from the bag if you needed to. A bit awkward, but it's a redundancy, so you're not going to be left caught short with no way of carrying water. Uh, so moving on to the cons then. Um, cons would be pretty generic. I mean, it's just, it's not something you necessarily need. So uh, a lot of people, what they do is they have their smart water bottles and they just put the filter straight onto the end instead of having these uh, smart caps. They just have the filter straight on the end and use it like that. I don't particularly like doing that because the flow rate isn't quite as good, quite, isn't quite good enough to just drink through these that well. Um, you have to back flush it quite a lot and I just find it awkward to drink straight through the filter. So I like squeezing it into a clean vessel and then using the bottle just like an oil bottle. Um, so essentially the con is that you don't necessarily need it, there are ways around it. It's just a nice thing to have in my opinion. Um, so then obviously if you don't need it, it's just one fewer item to have. You're saving nearly three ounces, uh, 76 grams. Um, and it's just the ease of not having to use this and just having well, the kind of minimal use of just the bottle and the filter. So some people like doing that, but 
personally, I, I prefer using this. Um, so yeah, apart from the weight and the cost of actually just not buying it, not having it, not having to take it with you, there aren't many, there aren't any uh, cons I can actually think to this product in its design or anything. It works perfectly, super simple, um, and hard wearing as well. So yeah, really impressed with it so far. Uh, so in conclusion, then, um, do I think this is appropriate to use in the UK for hiking? Um, yes, but only if you're hiking big distances and probably like away from civilization, uh, so away from villages and towns, etc., etc., because you're always within reach of a nearby town where you can get water. So the need for carrying four liters of water is pretty minimal, except maybe if you're, if it's like Scorchio in the summer, you're sweating a lot and, and you're kind of isolated away from local towns and villages. However, what I would say is that this, the cost of this is easily worth the ease of use in using it. So you use this a couple of times and it's pretty much paid for itself. Um, it's just, as soon as you use it, you're like, why did I ever not, why did I ever bother using the soy bags so that you get with the filters? It's just worth it in my opinion. Um, it's not a lot of money to pay uh, as long as you've got everything else you actually need, like sleeping bag and all that, etc., etc. But yeah. Um, I think it's easily worth the money that you pay for it. However, you don't necessarily, sh shouldn't be on the essential kit list um, when you're putting your kit together if you're getting into backpacking. Um, so yeah, those are my thoughts. They're all honest thoughts. I've not obviously been paid for it or anything like that, so you can trust them. Um, if you've got any questions or anything, please put them down in the comments. If you agree or disagree, put that down as well. Uh, be interested to know what you think, if you've used this before. So thank you very much for watching and wait out for the next video.